LM TV, Linmar Television. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Monday, National Pet Day, April 11th. 2016. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lindmar campus. Our top story. Today is the first day of the Iowa assessment and NWEA testing, and there's lots that you need to know. LMTV's Abby has more on that story. Abby? Thanks, Jasmine. First things first, if you haven't already, please look at which testing room you're in. Lists are posted throughout the building. The schedule this week has also been changed. From Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, first block is from 8.30 to 9.40 with second period starting at 9.05. Then testing takes place from 9.45 to 11.15. Then third block is from 11.20 to 1, with six periods starting at 12.25. Remember, B lunch is split into A lunch and D lunch. Check the list to see which lunch you have. Second block is from 1.05 to 2.15, with fourth period starting at 1.40. Lastly, fourth block is from 2.20 to 3.30, with eighth period starting at 2.25. The schedule for Tuesday and Thursday is almost exactly the same, except the second period starts at 9.10 and fourth period starts at 11 or 135. Remember to get a healthy amount of sleep each night and eat healthy meals throughout the week. Good luck, Linmar. Jasmine, back to you. Thanks, Abby. Attention SOTA students. There is an important meeting Wednesday morning at 8.05 in the food court. Try applications will be available at Ventureland's Trip details will be discussed, and opportunities to earn cords hours will be shared. If you can't make it, see Kevin McCauley. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back. Seniors, all your CORDS volunteer hours must be turned in to Mr. Becker by 3.30 p.m. Monday, May 2nd. Now Nick is here with sports. Thanks, Jasmine. On the scoreboard, boys track at Iowa City West. Our guys tied for third out of 12 teams. Varsity girls tennis beat Cedar Falls 7-2. They also beat Waterloo West 9-0. Ninth and 10th grade girls tennis tied Wash for first place in the Metro Double Tournament. Varsity boys tennis beat Cedar Falls C 7-2. They also beat Waterloo West 8-1. Boys soccer beat Davenport Central 4-0 to win the Linmar Soccer Challenger Cup. Girls soccer beat Jefferson 3-0. Today in Linmar sports, JV and sophomore girls tennis will play at Prairie at 4-30. Team dismissed at 3-10. Boys soccer hosts Cedar Falls at 5.15. JV and sophomore boys tennis will host Prairie at 4.30. In other sports news, attention softball players. The clothing order is due tomorrow. Orders are to be done online, but you can take a look at the options in the athletic office. Any Linmar senior student signing a spring letter of intent, stop in the athletic office. That's sports. Jasmine, back to you. Thanks, Nick. In news from the counselors, seniors, there are still several scholarships available. Check out the Family Connection site for more information. New scholarships are being added every day. For more information on these stories, stop by your counselor's office or check out their blog or website. Now Nisa joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Jasmine. On the Arts and Club scene, FFA will meet Wednesday at 745 in Miss Lemmer's room. Attention all speech students. Please see Mrs. Fry by Wednesday to verify names and spellings for awards. Spectrum meets today in Cat Powers room B11D. Non-band members have the opportunity to audition for the award-winning Marching Lions Color Guard. Practice sessions will take place before school the weeks of April 18th and 25th. Auditions will be after school on Tuesday, May 3rd. The Linmar Armed Services Club meets today in the College and Career Center. That's your club update, Jasmine. Back to you. Thanks, Nisa. Hey, Nick, what's for lunch? Well, Jasmine, it's a baked lasagna with a breadstick and romaine salad mix, or the potato bar. In the food court, it's sweet chili Thai chicken with seasoned brown rice and an egg roll. That's lunch. Jasmine, back to you. Thanks, Nick. Your LMTV forecast calls for nothing but sun this week, starting with a sunny day today and a high of 50. Tomorrow looks sunny as well with a high of 50 degrees, and Wednesday will be sunny too with a high of 55. 
That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Lenmar.